Hi, this is Scott Erickson with Digital Technology Group, a digital color systems integra integrator based in Tampa, Florida. Today we're going to talk about the Mirage Pro extension. In a previous video, we talked about Mirage as a professional print plugin to allow you to do nesting, gallery wrap, and production based printing right from Adobe Photoshop and other Adobe programs. Today we're going to talk about the optional RGB Pro extension. This is an additional piece of software that you purchase for $349 that works with both the 17 inch desktop version and the master edition which drives all printers. This pro extension allows you to automatically create ICC profiles for Epson printers with the Epson printer and the optional Epson Spectra Proofer, which is a built-in spectra photometer. All right, Mirage, the way Mirage works is basically you uh, launch the software, start a wizard-driven process, push a button, the printer will automatically print out a set of targets, and they could be small, medium, or large, depending on the accuracy that you need, and then will automatically feed the targets back into the printer, creating, reading and creating that ICC profile. You can do this for any number of medias that you can run through your printer. What it also allows you to do, if you do own other printers that don't have spectra proofers, um, like the Epson 9800 or 11880 or 9900, any other printer that you have and you're running with the Master Edition, it allows you to create ICC profiles for those as well. So all we do is we print those targets out on the other printer that doesn't have the spectra, uh, spectra proofer, and then we'll take a sheet like this and actually just feed it into the printer that has the spectra proofer, and again, it will automatically read those targets, send the data back to Mirage, and it will create an ICC profile for those other printers. So a really simple, affordable, and powerful way to create your own ICC profiles with Epson printers, Mirage software, and a Spectra Prover. So let's see how to create ICC profiles with Mirage. What we'll do is we'll just simply launch the print plugin. So we'll have an image open in Photoshop and then go to Mirage Print. Once we launch Mirage, we're going to click on the Settings button, and that's going to take us to a Custom Media tab, and then we'll just click Add Medium. Next, we'll select the printer that we're creating the profile for. So I'm going to select, in this case, the 4900, which has my attached spectra proofer. I'm going to select a base medium, and this base medium is going to be similar to what the media that I'm profiling is. So if I'm profiling a... Um, a luster or a pearl paper, I would pick premium luster. If I'm profiling um, a metallic paper like I am in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select premium glossy photo paper 250 because that's going to be the closest finish to that metallic paper. Next, I'll just simply give it a name. So I'll usually put our initials that um, references that we've done it and then put the name of the paper. Next, I'll click this button, Print and Measure Chart. I have three choices at this point, and since we're profiling on the printer that has the spectra proofer, I'm going to go ahead and select Print and Measure Chart. So it does it, the complete process, printing the targets, measuring, and then feeding that data back to the Mirage product to create the profile. It does that all in one step, basically. So Print Measure Chart, so I'm going to select the printer with the spectra proofer, and then I'm going to select again the printer to create the profile for. And again, since I'm doing it on the same printer, these two are going to be identical. So I'm just going to click Next through the wizard. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it what size media I've got in the printer. Um, and in this case, it's 16 inch. I'm going to click Next. I next select a chart size, and this basically has everything to do with speed versus profile quality. You can select small, which still generates a really good profile, but it's going to be um, quicker and faster, just probably not quite as accurate in shadow and highlight. Um, I can pick standard, and this is pretty much adequate for everything out there in most cases. Um, that will print 1,248 patches. And then the extended chart prints over 2,400 patches of color. And to be honest with you, in most cases, you probably won't see a, a big difference between extended and standard. If you do feel that you could improve on some uh, profile quality, then certainly go ahead and select extended and uh, continue with the process. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and pick standard. I'm going to click Next. Um, I then get a choice to produce um, profiles at the different speeds and different quality and resolutions that the printer offers because you do get different color 
and profile characteristics depending on the speed at which you print. So I could select all three of these and actually generate three different profiles in one, one shot, basically. Um, or I can just do it, in this case, I'm just going to do it for the normal quality and on the 4900s, it's 1440 by 720. But again, I could select all three and have it build all three speeds um, and all three profiles for me automatically. I'll then click Next again. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. Once I click Start, Mirage will send the targets down to the printer. The printer will print those out. The Spectra Proofer will read those and then feed that data back to Mirage for the profile building process. During the profiling process, Mirage will give you a overall progress status with this menu right here. So as you can see, it's currently printing the page and the overall progress is about right here. So throughout this process, you'll see it start to measure the color and the bar will progress. Um, this will take anywhere um, from 10 to 30 minutes depending on the size of the targets, um, the extension of the targets and the speed of the printer. So after we click start in the Mirage Wizard software, the job is sent down, the targets are sent down to the 4900 printer. Uh, the printer is printing out those targets as we speak right now. Once the targets are finished and printed, the printer will automatically retract the print into the printer back to where the spectra proofer can then read and profile those targets. Once it reads the data in, that data is automatically sent back to the computer in where Mirage sits and Mirage will actually use its color profile engine to calculate and build that ICC profile for that particular media. We literally don't need to be standing here right now or touching the printer, babysitting it in any way. That's the beauty of the Mirage system with the spectra proofer. It's 100% automatic we hit start and it does all the work for us. So here we wanted to go ahead and show you how the spectra proofer works. We went ahead and opened this door. We don't recommend that when actual profiling, but we went ahead and popped it open so that you could see the actual spectra proofer reading those target patches. Again, this is fully automatic. We haven't touched anything on the printer or the spectra proofer. Mirage is driving this device automatically for us. Now before it started reading these targets, Mirage does tell the spectra proofer to dry those targets and cure the targets so that the color and the ink on the page is stable and not drifting in, in uh, density or in color. Once the printer finishes printing, drying, and reading the targets, Mirage calculates the profile with its built-in profile creation engine and then uh, gives you a status showing that the profile is finished. We'll just click Finish and we're done creating the profile and now you'll see up here in our media type list we have that profile and paper um, in our system available and ready to print accurate color. That's how easy it is to profile um, a printer that has a spectra proofer built right onto the uh, the printer itself. And as we mentioned we can use this solution to create profiles for any number of papers um, and any variety of papers. In the next example, we're going to use Mirage to create a profile for an Epson 7900 printer we have. We don't have the spectra proofer for the 7900, so we're just going to use the 4900 with spectra proofer to create that profile for the 7900. Sounds a bit confusing, I know, but let's just step through the process. So again, we'll click on Settings, and then we'll go to Custom Media, Add Medium. We're going to select the printer that we're profiling, so in this case we'll pick the 7900. Again, we'll select a base medium. In this case, we're going to be profiling for fine line premium matte paper, so I'll pick something similar like Epson Enhanced Matte Paper. We'll name the profile, and then we'll click Print and Measure Charts. In this case, since we're printing on a different printer, um, that has the spectra proofer, does not have the spectra proofer, we're just going to go ahead and select print chart for measuring later. We're going to choose the printer with the profile or the spectra proofer and then choose which printer to create the profile for, in this case a 7900. So we're going to just click next then select a size all right, for that printed piece. Again since I'm profiling in the 4900 I'm going to go ahead and select 16 inch so it fits within that print path of the 4900. So I'll just click 16 and then next. 
Again, I choose a chart size depending on the quality of the profile that I want versus the speed. All right, in this case, we'll go ahead and go ahead and select the extended for that 2400 patch count. I'll click next. Again, select a quality level as far as the speed on the printer. The previous uh, quality level was for the number of patches we were going to use to, to uh, profile that medium. This case is the actual speed of the printing process and the quality, the droplet, the DPI. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and select normal. And I'm going to hit next and then start. And this will proceed to print these targets out on our Epson 7900 printer so that we can later take those out and then insert them into the 4900. So after the printer that we're profiling has finished printing the targets, we're going to go ahead and cut those off and then cut each section of those targets out of their dotted lines. In this case, we've done the extended target, which is over 2,400 patches of color. So that actually takes up three separate sections in this profile target. For the small target, it's one page. For the standard target, it's two pages. And for the extended that we've done here, it's a total of three. So we'll cut these off, cut around the dotted line so that we can feed it into our Epson 4900 with the Spectra Proofer so that we can continue building the profile. Here we are in front of our 4900 with the Spectra Proofer attached, and we now have our three target patches cut out. Um, they're labeled accordingly on the patches, number one, number two, number three. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our Mirage software wizard and initiate the process of reading the profile with the Spectra Proofer. So once Mirage sends those targets to the printer and they finish printing, it will prompt you to click finish. We'll then go back into the print and measure charts so that we can use our 4900 to actually cal generate, calculate, and read the profile. So again, we're going to say measure previously printed chart because we just printed th those charts on our 7900. I'm going to select the profiling printer as the 4900, and then the 7900 was the one that we printed the charts with. So I'm going to click next pick that size basically that I uh, used in the 7900 to print the targets which was a 16 inch size and then I'm gonna click next I'm gonna pick the size of the target patches that I printed on my 7900 and then again I'm gonna choose the quality of the print or resolution that I chose on the printer to print those targets. So at this point I'm feeding those target sheets into the 4900 to go ahead and generate and create the profile. So I'll just click start at this point. So that's it for the Mirage Pro extension. Again only 349 in addition to either the 17 inch desktop version or the master edition. Uh, this is Scott Erickson at DTG. If you have any questions whatsoever on digital camera solutions, um, color management, printers, supplies, ink, paper, please feel free to give us a call at 800-681-0024 or visit our online store at www.dtgweb.com. Thanks a lot.